G'day folks, I'm Toby, welcome to Billy Metals channel. Uh, today I'm talking about mercury. So I was panning recently in uh, a spot locally, uh, just near an old battery site, and found a little bit of gold with mercury. Which... So this is gold that I pulled out. Um, a couple of these. This one in particular, it's a bit hard to see there, but there's actually a little silver patch there. And that is mercury, or amalgam, actually, um, on that piece of gold. So I'll stick a macro lens on here and zoom in on those little bits of gold and we'll have a look at a few in close-up detail. You can see the silvery patch on that piece of gold. Look, that's a bit of a jerk on the camera. Silvery patch there, uh, that is a mercury and gold amalgam. And uh, there's a few of these you can see a little bit. Ooh, lighting just changed colour then for some reason. Interesting piece of gold there. I don't know why my camera's focusing and changing colour saturation there, but there you go. There, yeah, a few of the grey looking pieces in there have a little uh, little mercury on them. Uh, uh, yeah, quite interesting. Nice flake of gold there. There's a few crystalline pieces in this too. The gram of gold in this little pile. So, uh, how did mercury end up in the creek? Well, there's a bit of a story behind that. A couple of ways this stuff can end up in your creek. Uh, there is a couple of areas around the country where you will get native uh, mercury, which is to say uh, elemental, naturally occurring elemental mercury. But the vast majority of this mercury comes from uh, old gold mining operations. So it's used because it's of chemical affinity for gold and amalgamation properties with gold. It is used to extract fine gold from um, crushed quartz. So the batteries crushed it up, uh, the quartz of this. The uh, mercury was coated over copper plates and uh, the gold or the sand and gold would be washed over uh, both baths and the copper coated plates of mercury. Mercury and the gold combine, you end up with your amalgam, most of it sticks to the plates and you recover uh, both your gold and your mercury. Bit of a problem though because uh, little bits of amalgam and little bits of the pure element itself will escape and uh, it's a serious environmental poison. Uh, it's a huge issue still today in uh, parts of the world, South America, parts of Africa, where uh, small-scale miners operate using mercury still. It's not that efficient uh, a process, and it has also been long since been banned in Australia for gold recovery. There is still a lot of this stuff in the creeks um, right around uh, Australia, any of the old gold mine areas. Uh, you'll sometimes find it in gold. Sometimes you'll actually find little bits of um, pure mercury floating around. It is uh, in the environment in uh, most old battery sites whether you can actually find visible mercury or not, so pretty serious contaminant. If you find some mercury, um, you can't actually legally own much more than about 0.1 of a gram of mercury in Victoria, so I believe, without a valid excuse or reason. Uh, I do have a reason for having this, and uh, yeah, we use this for manufacturing various samples for... Um, supplying various samples to uh, universities and researchers around the country. So, um, yeah, there's quite a lot of mercury there. Certainly would not use it for gold mining. So, yeah, basic process to get your gold out of your mercury, um, to get the, extract the gold from your amalgam, is to retort this stuff off. So, um, the old trick of uh, mercury, or amalgam, sorry, in a potato. Uh, not recommended at all, obviously, but um, basically the mercury boils off the uh, amalgam, condenses in a potato, and you can recover both, as well as contaminating yourself and everything around you. So there are retorts available uh, that you can boil it off, but yeah, it's certainly fraught with danger, shall we say. So um, yeah, amazing stuff. Uh, unfortunately, highly toxic, but yeah, that is absolutely everywhere. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if anyone has any questions, please feel free to, um, yeah, down in the comments below, um, yeah, ask any, any questions you have. Um, yeah, plenty more videos coming up. We're about to dig some holes in some very interesting areas. Uh, about to hit some creeks for uh, gemstones. And there are several mine videos will be coming up as well. So uh, yeah, please subscribe if you haven't. Thanks folks. I'll be back soon.